So, what is Thrive? Thrive is an open source game being developed by Revolutionary Studios. In this game, you start as a prokaryotic organism, a cell without a nucleus, and manually mutate in order to adapt to your environment. You go throughout your environment, absorbing various gases and, depending on your playstyle, hunt, scavenge, or photosynthesize. Thrive has many complex concepts that make it up, so this video will simply go over the basic win and loss conditions as well as how to control your creature and use the editor. Winning and losing this game depends on two factors, population and generation. If your population drops too low, you will lose the game. Your population drops when your character dies, which happens when your health reaches zero. You can be damaged by overusing ATP, the energy currency of the cell, being eaten by another cell, or being hit by poison, known in this game as Oxytoxy NT. 20 population is lost every time your character dies. In the current build of the game, you win when your population is above 200 and you are on generation 15. Advancing to the next generation is done through mitosis, known as asexual reproduction. You can reproduce once your cell is fully grown, which happens when you've collected enough ATP, phosphates, and ammonia to duplicate all your organelles. When you reproduce, you go to the editor, and in the editor you're allowed 100 mutation points each turn. Each organelle costs a different amount of mutation points, and also uses energy to maintain, but it will add a special ability to your cell. To survive long enough to get these resources, you will need to obtain glucose, which can be turned into ATP. There are other ways to gain ATP, but that is a topic for a later video. For now, just remember that you need to have plenty of glucose, which is represented by white gas clouds. Also remember to get ammonia, which is represented by yellow clouds, and phosphates, which are in purple clouds. Your character is controlled using WASD and the mouse. The mouse directs your creature to that direction. W moves towards the mouse, A and D strafes, left and right respectively, and S moves you backwards. Pressing G will toggle in golf mode which will use extra ATP and allow you to damage and consume smaller cells and organelles. This is a good way to get more resources, though you have to be careful not to consume all your energy in this process. You can also press E to release Oxytoxy if you have the proper organelles. On the HUD are some important buttons. In the bottom right corner is the compound menu. We will go over compounds in a future episode. The bar at the top of your screen contains environmental conditions, such as environmental gases and in the future, light levels. Your health is also displayed here, as well as your population. The top left, it will display a box which tells you the coordinates of your mouse and the compounds present there, along with the name of any species you are hovering over. The top right has a grayed out editor box, which glows once your creature has fully duplicated all of its organelles. Clicking on this button will bring you to the editor. Clicking on the menu button brings up a menu which allows you to exit to the main screen as well as exit the game. Exit to menu can be used if you want to restart your games. There is also a help button that will go over some of these concepts in further depth. This will be it for our first tutorial video. Future tutorials will go over organelles, biomes, updates, and other game concepts. May your organism thrive.